Well, you have probably noticed them in your doorway, along windows, and the nooks and crannies of your car. Maybe you've had to chase them around your house. Well, it's Miller moth season. It's that time of year when the moths just seem to show up everywhere. We are just a pit stop in their migration path, though. The moths hatch in eastern Colorado, as well as Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma. Then as the flowers start to bloom and the weather starts to warm up a bit, they move towards the mountains and all the wildflowers up there. And we are right in the middle of that path. As Connor McHugh reports, while they can be annoying, these moths are really critical in Colorado's ecosystem. If you live in the metro area, chances are you've probably taken a video like this or seen something like it in your home. Well, that's because Miller moths are back and they'll be here for some time. Much like the sun setting in the west, springtime scenes like this have become a constant in Colorado, from porches to windowsills and everywhere in between. They're called Miller moths, and like it or not, their annual visit is underway. So they're just basically living their lives, and they're just trying to get some food around. Francisco Garcia Buyebueno is an entomologist at the Butterfly Pavilion. He says each year, the Miller moth migrates from the eastern plains to our Rocky Mountains in search of food. They want to go up to the mountains, reproduce, then migrate back and lay their eggs. Along that journey, the moths must first pass through the metro area, drawn to dark rooms in crevices during the day and lights at night. We recommend to turn off your lights in the evening and try to keep your lights as low as possible so you don't get a lot of moths. Francisco says the moths are critical to the ecosystem as both a food source and a pollinator, a role most associate with honeybees and butterflies. They are like not as charismatic as butterflies in the way that they are not with these like very shiny and bright colors, but they are equally as important as butterflies because they are pollinating. For that reason, Francisco says Miller moths should be protected, not treated as a nuisance. If we care about the environment, and a good environment for our kids, grandkids, etc. We need to start protecting insects, help them move around, and they're just going to leave us alone in like a few weeks' time. Miller moth season is typically here in May and early June. There is also a reverse migration later in the year that's much smaller and less noticeable. In Westminster, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.